Prime Minister and Minister for National Security, Honorable Philip J. Peer, held an audience with aggrieved employees and the senior leadership of the Customs and Excise Department following a shooting incident that injured one of its officers on July 11th. The meeting allowed the employees to dialogue and express their safety concerns to the Prime Minister. The Acting Commissioner of Police, Mr. Ronald Phillip, was also present at the meeting. First of all, I want to emphasize to you as to what we're talking um, In terms of why it happened, I do not know. The, the only information that, that I have is it happened. I'm not been briefed by the commission and anybody else. Only what I know is it happened. And my concern is as great as yours, even more than yours, because when, when this is happening, you may inevitably where where the blame comes when it's not. What I want to tell you is that we are going to do whatever we can do, whatever is possible we can do to ensure the, the, the protection of customs officers. Whatever is possible, we we are going to do it. As the details, I'm not a security expert, so I can't tell you anything about the details. I can assure you. That whatever we can do, whatever is possible, is possible to do to ensure your security will do. The Customs and Excise Department employees received the Prime Minister's assurances that his government has initiated the necessary measures and will mobilize the appropriate resources to respond to potential threats to their safety. That you can give the government to make sure this is not given to us. So, what I'm saying to you is that we do whatever we can do for you. The commission gives it is, but all I can say is that whatever the government can do, we will be going to do to ensure it to us. I can give you that assurance. As to, as to the details, we have to do that. In a statement issued on July 12th, the Customs and Excise Department expressed its zero tolerance for, quote, any threat, harm, or attempt to harm its officers, end quote. The Royal St. Lucia Police Force has launched an investigation into the shooting incident.